Nothing says the Upper Peninsula of Michigan like its breathtaking views and the signature dishes that line your drive. But on a popular island, there is one treat that gets more attention than almost anything else. So are you a big fudge fan? Definitely. Yeah. My friend here, he's not very familiar with fudge, so we talked about it the whole trip up. For more than a century, they've been serving up pound after pound of fudge on Mackinac Island. A summer destination for 700,000 visitors every year. It's a trip back in time here. No cars, just horse-drawn carriages and bicycles get people around. And when they make a stop on the island's main street, it's often fudge thereafter. What's your favorite kind of fudge? Um, probably double dark. Being a Michigander, um, fudge is one of the things that this part of the state is famous for. The family ties at each store are as rich as the ingredients they stir up each day. My dad was an all-around candy maker. His brothers were. His father was. His grandfather was. And uh, my son is and my grandson is. Marvin May moved to Mackinac Island with his parents in the 1930s. We came here looking for a resort where we could start a seasonal candy business. Marvin's father eventually bought that candy store that at 87 years old, Marvin still has a hand in. He's watched history from May's candy store ever since he got here. Sugar rationing during World War II had candy makers on the island trying their hardest to stay in business. Marvin's father would only make fudge in the morning and open the doors at noon, only selling one pound per customer so there'd be enough to go around. That's part of what and why we made fudge famous here. We were the only fudge shop at that time. The business even got presidential attention in 1975 when Gerald Ford paid a visit. So by the time I was 18, I got to learn the candy making process from scratch to finish. So it was kind of cool. Now there is a new generation of maize making fudge. After cooking for 20 minutes first, we watched what happens next. So we're on to the next step in the process? Yeah, the stirring part. Okay. Looks like right? I need to back up. Okay. <laughs> If you're on a diet, you may not want to hear what they go through in a day at Mays. A ton of butter and at least five gallons of cream to keep up with demand. How many different kinds of fudge do you make here? We have about 16 flavors and usually each year we'll try one new flavor. In peak season, they'll sell about 20 batches of fudge each day, not really having much trouble bringing people in. The great smells that lingered out the door. You could smell it outside. Oh, yes, we could. Do you know that they actually blow the smell uh, out right here? Did not know that. Interesting. Smart. Good marketing, right? Yes, very good yeah. marketing. So we come out here, we make our own fudge, we pour two ounces of that Mount Gay rum on it. The smell goes right up and right out that window. I've seen people walk by, stop, turn around, walk, walk back in again. Okay, here goes uh, nothing, I guess. Yep. All the way. All the way down here. This must be a popular fudge flavor. Mm hmm. Right. Chocolate nuts usually our what? flagship flavor, and it's very well known amongst all the tourists here. What's not to like, right? Yeah, it's chocolate. <laughs> Everyone loves chocolate, right? Showmanship has always been important at Mays. It's one of the few places you can walk in and see them make candy on site. It's 15 minutes later and it's time to start cutting, right? Yeah. So it's all ready and all we do is, is we cut into slices. Each slice is generally around a half a pound. This 25 pound batch takes about an hour from start to finish. It will make about 50 slices that will be gone from the store within two days. I think we've sampled so many we're ready to finally make the purchase. I know the feeling. It was time for a try. All right. This is the taste test. Delicious. Mm -hmm. It's a candy store on an island that celebrates summer memories, whipping them up one batch at a time. I'm pretty proud of my family making candy and and uh, pretty proud of my dad uh, keeping up the business.